Recent operations saw thousands of South Vietnamese families moved into militia-controlled fortified villages as part of the Strategic Hamlet Resettlement Program. However, Viet Cong have infiltrated several of these South Vietnamese hamlets, killed their leaders, and seized control. We need to support the South Vietnamese Air Force in wiping out these VC-controlled hamlets. For the first part of this operation, we'll soften up their defenses with airstrikes, ready for an assault with light tanks and infantry. I'm having some problems with rudder response. Need to perform a maneuverability check. Roger that. Assisting to check you from behind. I'm on your six. Initiate maneuverability check. We need to eliminate the Viet Cong's infiltrated hamlets, bomb the occupied villages to destroy the Viet Cong's base, and help to reduce the enemy presence in the area. NVA MiGs are approaching. Protect our bombers before the MiGs reach them.
Good job. Now destroy the remaining hamlet. Dear Joe, too bad there was no time for you to come home and say goodbye. I was so excited to hear that you've been transferred to Vietnam to support our fight for democracy, and I wanted to shake your hand. I've told all my friends that my brother's going to fight in Vietnam. Some of them said that we shouldn't be dictating how other nations are run, but I know they're wrong and that we're doing the right thing. Mother is worried about you, and she sends kisses. But she is sure our father would be proud of you should he be with us still. God bless his soul. Lisa was here yesterday bringing me your old textbooks. Zoe was helping, and she was very proud, too, telling everyone she was helping Uncle Me nee learn. After finishing college, I want to be just like you, but on the ground. It's the Marines for me. You take care and kick some commie asses. Your brother, Neil. Airstrikes on the VC-controlled hamlets were successful. Their defensive fortifications have been severely damaged, and now the ground attack must commence. South Vietnamese light tanks and infantry are already on their way to the hamlets. We will provide air support to ensure their success. But be careful. AA defenses are still active in the area, so we'll need to prioritize these when spotted. This is Cobra 2. I think we've been hit. I'm initializing test control sequence. Roger that, Cobra 2. We don't see any visible damage to your bird. Perform the full control test to confirm.
one, this is Bishop three. I confirm all functionality check. Thanks, Bishop. All seems to be working well. Proceed with the mission objectives. South Vietnamese tanks failed to break the Hamlet fortifications in the valley. We don't have any ground forces in the area, but to break the Hamlet's defenses, our Cobra Squad will crush them from the air. Enemy fortifications were eliminated. There is still considerable resistance in the hamlet. And to minimize losses, we will provide air support for Vietnamese ground forces. We can capture the second hamlet quickly by dropping our troops near the hamlet at LZ Bravo. However, LZ is heavily protected by double A's. Cobras have to destroy the double A's to allow Hueys to deploy our boys at LZ Bravo.
Great. Our troops were deployed safely at the LZ. We have to provide cover fire until they establish a defensive perimeter. Surveillance reports NVA HQ located near our position. Destroy it to minimize the NVA presence in the area.
I wonder how much good it does, rounding up these scattered communities, uprooting families and farmers, and moving them into these supposedly secure hamlets. None of them thanked us for it. None of them wanted it. It's this kind of erosion of society that makes individuals stand and fight to protect and cling on to what they hold dear. But with the threat of communism looming over us, we must make hard choices and follow them through, whatever the consequences, for the greater good. People will see this, must see this, in the future. After successful experimentation with chemical defoliants, the president has authorized full-scale use of Agent Purple to clear the jungle and make the countryside safer for our troops. Jungle and forested areas are excellent hideouts for Viet Cong soldiers. If we wipe out the forest, then our ground forces will get the advantage and the VC will be no match for us in direct combat. Your C-123 will be accompanied by a fighter escort in case of trouble. Remember our motto, only you can prevent force. Our recon reports several AA units in the area we need to defoliate. To allow our C-123s to make defoliation runs, we need to destroy identified AA's. Good job! Enemy AA positions were eliminated. Our C-123 is approaching its defoliation run.
NBA makes our inbound. Protect escaping C-123. Resettling communities is one thing, but now here we are dropping foul chemicals all over the jungle. Fighting trees instead of communists? Using chemicals to destroy the land seems like something you would denounce your opponent for. It's just not right. Still, I see the reasoning behind it. We deny our enemy their crops and their hiding places in the dense foliage. We make the jungle safer for our troops. I just hope that we don't turn this beautiful country into a wasteland before we're done. Our intelligence has identified a Viet Cong transmitter in the hamlet of Aptan Toy, supported by a force of around 120 men. AVRN 7th Infantry Division, accompanied by 13 M113 APCs, are on site and ready to make a surprise strike against the target. Two rifle companies will be dropped into the battlefield by the boys from 93rd Transportation Company. They won't stand a chance against our combined forces. Our reconnaissance reports LZ and Bravo to be calm and secure. Drop our Marines at the LZ and wait until the Marines secure the perimeter. Provide fire support if necessary.
Enemy fire is too strong. We can't land. We'll provide fire support until our units take off. We have to identify and secure an alternative landing zone for Marines near LZ Bravo. Find a good spot for a drop zone in the area.
safe LZ has been identified in the area. Defend our CH-47s against any resistance. Our paratroopers are ready to go. Drop them over secured LZ to get them safely on the ground. My love, I miss you terribly. I still think of the nights you spent at home before you were reassigned. Zoe celebrated her birthday in style yesterday. We celebrated together with Neil and your mom. It was very nice, but we missed you a lot. Neil starts preparations for his final year in college soon, and I'm sure he'll do real well with all the work he's doing. Your mom's not really talking much and seems pretty worried. I'm not sure if that's about you, or rather about Neil's intention to follow in your footsteps. She certainly doesn't want to lose both of her sons to the war. I hope this war ends quickly and you're back with us soon. Stay safe, my love. With deepest love, Lisa and Zoe. Despite Laos's declared neutrality, there are around 6,000 Viet Cong troops positioned in eastern Laos. The United States is covertly supporting the western part of the country in their fight against communism. But with North Vietnam expanding their logistic corridor, the Ho Chi Minh Trail, we are left with few options. We must intervene before the Viet Cong's control of the area becomes too dominant. However, given Laos's neutrality, this operation is in direct violation of the Geneva Convention. Therefore, it is classified and top secret. Revealing this operation would do major damage to the international reputation of the U.S. Thanks to your previous performance and reports from senior officers, you have been selected to be part of Operation Barrel Roll. Your primary goal is to eliminate ground targets in the area and disrupt enemy supply routes.
A supply convoy has been reported on the Ho Chi Minh Trail. The convoy must be destroyed. Watch out for double A's protecting the convoy. MiGs are intercepting our bombing squad. The bombers must be protected.
NBA general is mobile. Don't let him escape into the jungle. My dearest son, I hope Asia is treating you well. I know I haven't been in touch for a long, long time, but I suffer with the fear of your absence. I listen to all the news from Vietnam, and it fills me with worry. There's a lot of news about the conflict on the radio every day, and much of it is very scary. I live in fear of the doorbell as I worry an officer with bad news might be calling. I know these times are hard on everyone, but I'm so scared of losing you. Neil is very proud of you and wants to join the Marines. I cannot forbid him to sign up, but maybe you can convince him not to. Please do your best to convince him not to go to Vietnam. I cannot lose both of you in war. Please, forgive your mother for worrying. It is a mother's role to worry. And this war has me convinced that I will lose both you and Neil. Please, be careful. Your beloved mother. The USS Maddox reports that she has been attacked by North Vietnamese torpedo boats. You are immediately dispatched to defend her at all costs. Destroy the attacking boats and protect the Maddox. Dismissed. USS Maddox is reporting incoming hostile Vietnamese P-4. Take off and assess the situation. Defend the Maddox from attacking forces.
USS Maddox reports enemy fire. Sink hostile enemy ships. The incident in the Gulf of Tonkin took place on August 2nd, 1964. Intelligence reported a similar attack two days later, which was eventually revealed to be false. However, President Lyndon B. Johnson, perhaps still trying to make his mark on an electorate grieving for JFK, addressed the nation on August 4th. He reported the attacks and requested the authority to undertake a military response. On August 7th, Congress passed the Gulf of Tonkin Resolution, which granted President Johnson the authority to conduct military operations in Southeast Asia. Johnson's false testimony in Congress escalated the situation and resulted in a military conflict which cost lives of 50,000 U.S. military personnel, over 2 million Vietnamese, and immense material damage to Southeast Asia. 